Pow, 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 pow. How you feeling? How you living, everybody? Yes, we are live. Correct, Mundo. And uh, I'm not in New York, even though New York is in the back, you know, it's a beautiful sight, beautiful picture. I'm in Amsterdam. You all know this, all right? So uh, I'm sure some of you I've seen in the title that um, I got a surprise today for you. Health tips and tricks. Hmm. Who's going to do that for us today? Some of you already know if you follow me regularly. So uh, I'm waiting for you to get in because uh, I'm here early today. So for those who are going to watch Fab's funny vlog later, because <laughs> you didn't make it to the live session, it's all good. I'm waiting for the people to kick in, all right? So bear with me. Today I came in a little earlier, as a matter of fact. So for the peeps in South America or in America, on that side of the Atlantic, it's going to take a little time for them to realize me. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do what I'm going to do. And I don't really know what I'm going to do. But that's what I love about coming here and talk to you. It's about feeling. You know, feelings, sharing, giving, you know, my tricks. How I've been living, how I've been able to sustain through the years. And ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to a, a brand new chapter. Brand new chapter is on the rise. And um, as you all know, France is going to be playing a very important part of this new journey. Paris, the city where I was born. The team, the team, Prestige Music, Prestige Record, Horacio Nosbon, JJ, Avi Rosen. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. There's more people that are coming to the team, which is super exciting. But I can't tell you that because it's not official. Official, you know. But you'll meet everybody, and you'll meet everybody when I go to Paris. That's the next step. So right now, as a matter of fact, I was supposed to be there this weekend, but because there's so much going on, we had to make sure that it's orchestrated for me properly. Because when I go to Paris, it's like ba-bam, bam, bam, action pack. Every hour is accounted for, which is beautiful. I love it. I love to move fast because when we go that route, you know, things are lining up nicely. Tell me if the feed is funny because I see myself in slow motion. When everything is in sync, but it looks a little a little funny, so bear with me. As a matter of fact, I'm going to turn my phone off so I don't take anything away. Because, you know, I'm going to be hitting the gym after that, y'all. You know, I've got to. You know, health is all, as you all know. But like I was saying, this new chapter is going to be super exciting because we got, we got lots of music. We did lots of music, as you know, this year. The people who have been following me, they know Fab's been working, 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 working. And some people ask me, where and when is it gonna come out? Well, we're approaching, we're approaching that slowly but surely. The turtle always finishes the race. I see you popping in slowly but surely. I see, I see, I see. Let me say hi to the people that are here already. Livia, how you doing? Sheena, hey, good morning. Sheila Shorter, Zimar Guimares, I hope I said it right. Tammy Fox just came in, that's right. Okay, we're slowly coming in. I know I came in a little early. As a matter of fact, I usually come at 4.30 my time, and today it's 2 o'clock, so some people might be a little surprised, but I kind of let people know 
on this thing, on this device right here, that it was coming in. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the person you might know who's going to talk about the health tips and tricks. Drum roll. Here she is. That's right. The incredible. Your <laughs> health coach. Hello, hello. <laughs> I got some help, y'all. I got some help. And um, health tips and tricks. It's been a while eh, since we last talked. Yeah, it's been a while. It was been March, while. I think. Yeah, yeah. And, and we got so many great, great reviews on what we gave you during this crazy period that we're still going through. And then people ask me, so when is Tessa coming back? When is Tessa from the state coming back? When is your health coach coming back? And I was like, yeah, I got to do it. I got to do it. So first of all, I'd like to thank you for letting me use your office. I'm sure some of you are familiar with the fact that the New York artwork in the back hmm, looks familiar. Well, this is Tessa's office from where she works. Yeah, on Sunday. No client, so you know it's it's free to use. That's right. So um, you want to take the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Well, are you okay with that? You want to stand sure. a little closer? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. 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 good, good. Um, we're gonna talk about health, right? And of course, everybody always wants to know what's the healthy diet and what supplements I can take. But we covered a big part of that last time. That's true. So things that are all around you, which are have major impact on your health but you're not aware of. That's what we're going to talk about today. And that's key because, you know, the world is changing. I'm going to add to that. Right? Mm -hmm. The world is changing. There's a lot. Technology is a big part of what we're going to talk about today. And it's affecting us that we don't know about it. But let's have to understand the person that she is, always researching, always on, on podcasts and just, you know, knowledge is power. So here she is. She's going to share with us some of the new stuff she's been learning from. She's been doing that for some time, but hey, I'm letting you in on the knowledge. Also, because I pointed out to you, eh, always on your phone, uh, <laughs> that, that those phones are not harmless. Uh, they can even, in your sleep, for example, disturb your sleep so badly that people get like all kind of health issues uh, from just a phone laying next to them on their you know, nightstand. True. So you just turn it off, right? I did, I did. But normally, normally, <laughs> if you have your phone in your hand, what's But it was, it was for the wrong reason. It was for the feed. Yeah. But yeah, let me check. Let me so check. when you swipe up, let, you let, know, you see like let, cellular is let's on, test. Wi-Fi is on, Bluetooth okay. is on. She's going to test me right now. Okay, you, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. be the judge. Well, you know, you did it quite okay because you, you know, of course, now. And yes. I, I told you that you should not, especially not when this thing is in your pocket, you know, on your body, you should not leave everything on. If you don't use Bluetooth, turn it off. If you don't use uh, cellular 4G, later on 5G, turn it off. It's a major stressor. There are studies that people who wear their phones in their right pockets all the time, that they have less bone density at that side. They have um, some people with infertility problems. The swimmers <laughs> swim less fast. Um, if, you use your, if you keep your phone close to your jewels all the time. So it's, it's really important to be aware, um, but if, especially during sleep. Because when we sleep, especially. we need to charge the batteries. We need to regenerate. And we need to, um, you know, repair cells and, and repair muscle damage after training, uh, growth and repair. That's basically what we're doing during our sleep. If this thing is laying next to you, like closer than a meter, and a lot of people sometimes even charge it while sleeping, it's a major stressor to the body. And now I've heard, because in my practice here where we are today, I see clients, um, a lot of video consultations also lately because of uh, COVID, but um, some people still come in. But I've heard uh, actually twice this week, two guys, two men, they both had, had uh, like serious health issues from their phone. One even ended up in the hospital, heart palpitations, uh, thought he had a heart attack. There was nothing to be found, but that phone, because this is a tech guy, 
it's always in close proximity and also not switched off at night. So if you can see, yeah. Oh man, that phone takes like data the whole time. I think it goes twice a minute to the, uh, the closest tower to make contact, to say, hey, I'm here, you're there. If there's something, if there's messages coming in, send them through. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a major stressor to have your phone on at night. And even location services, because I don't know if you knew that one. Mm -hmm. Well, if you, you are on airplane modus, but location services are still on, this phone is still doing some damage in the night. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. that change anything there? I don't know. You have to check because I, I didn't speak with this about, uh, with you about. But something um, going on. Yeah, there. if you, your location services are on, <laughs> you are in trouble. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that later because I'm not that um, that fast with uh, with Seriously, the location still yeah. pulls it yeah. in. Yeah, it that still sucks. pulls it in. Uh, but sucks. the heart, that's definitely a thing. And 5G so. especially, because it's such a strong signal. It's a very high pulse. It's like microwave radiation. It is um, disturbing our organs and especially the heart. Because our heart is, um, uh, yeah, it's a very big organ, that's very big muscle. And uh, it's all based on calcium. It's going to be very, very technical if I go in detail, but it basically uh, the calcium channels in our body, in our cells, should not be clogged up with calcium. And if the cell gets too much calcium, it calcifies and it will definitely have issues. You got that? That was simple enough, yeah, right? That, yeah, so that's, that's where the heart issues come from. There's in uh, America already, um, I think a year ago, maybe two years ago, uh, Santa Anita racetrack, you should look that up online. They were testing with 5G and the horses all got heart attacks, like 80 horses in one year or something. So yeah, really, really heavy. Uh, so I see more and more people with healthy people with heart issues. <laughs> yeah, with heart issues. That's so right. I'm a horse too. Yeah. You should uh, be Chinese aware of your phone being next to you all the time, and especially when you're sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, do you have any questions, uh, or maybe there's questions coming in? I don't know if you. Uh... Okay, let me check and check and check. Hey guys, if you have any questions. Yeah, electromagnetic magnetic waves subtly harm us. Uh, some people say, Vivian, yeah, you know what I'm ta talking about, right? Okay. Um, Anything, guys? Some, some, stop, stop, stop. Okay, you, go, you do it. You do it. <laughs> the, um, we are talking about health, Sylvie says, and the color of your wall is very uh, lively and positive. Yeah, that's. I, I painted it green because last time you were here, that's it, it was white. <laughs> I have nothing to do. <laughs> but I, I, I need a change. I was like, yeah, make it more healthy, especially when you do more video uh, work, more video true, Zoom uh, consultations. I like it. It's nice to have a lively background. So uh, that's why, yeah. Um, well, well, let me let me think of something, you know, like um, give them like something that really changed, something very simple that changed my ways. Because what yeah. we're going to do, guys, you remember when I brought Tessa, it was uh, three months ago or something? Yeah, March or something. It was March or yeah. something yeah. like that. And uh, it went so well and the response was so cool. And I said I would do it again, but now I'm at a point where we're going to do something that's going to reoccur every every month. Yeah, once a month, right? Yeah, once a month we're going to do that. And Tessa's going to bring and give you some health tips and tricks. And uh, I will put it on my channel. So I'll be introducing the segment. And I won't be sitting there, but it'll be Tessa talking and doing the thing. But sometime we're going, to, we're going to flip it and we'll be doing this too because yeah. the interaction of what we're doing right now yeah. is much I better. also read that um, Richard said, uh, I heard that 5G is extremely dangerous to the brain. And that's true because... When you call with your phone next to you, your head, don't do that. Those yeah. micro radiation waves is, is like going straight through your brain. Yeah, brain tumors. But what do you think of those ear pods or any wireless, you know, headphone or ear pods? Anything, guys, it, it's very logic. If you think about it, you know, back in the days when we didn't have, you know, cell phones, they were saying, ah, don't worry about it. It ain't a problem. No biggie. And then, you know, fast forward 10 years later, say, oh, well, you know, don't put your phone close to your brain because you it might have It is in problems. the description of iPhone that you can't, you should not call with your phone uh, uh, close to your head. Do you hear what this I just yeah, said? It is in the description. So they warn you, but nobody reads that description, of course. No. Um, they warn you because otherwise, they, you know, you can sue them. 
But it's, it's like definitely something I also noticed that people have more brain issues, sleep disturbance, heart palpitations, stress, um, but also the, the, the wireless, the, um, the ear pods. You know, you know, you have your phone in your pocket, right? The phone sends a signal to the right ear pod. How do you think that signal goes to the left? Mm. It crosses straight to your brain. Exactly. That's just logical, y'all. Yeah. And, and I'm telling you, you know, because, you know, I'm guilty. You know, back in the days when I had the Blackberry or whatever, you know, <laughs> it used to be not far away from, from, from my head, you know. Yeah. And when I started switching my habits, well... I slept better. I see Tommy says, I always use speakerphone. That's super good. That's great. Because Very if good. you use speakerphone, you can just, you know, use it half a meter, maybe a meter away from you. When oh, you, hold on, hold on. you're sitting down, okay. by the way, it's always good to take your phone out of your pocket or wherever it is and make it an arm length, put it an arm length away. Because then you can still reach it. You can still see whatever messages are popping up. But you, you're not in close proximity because distance is key. Every little inch or centimeter counts. Distance is your best friend. Yeah. Okay. There's one question, Phil, because Phil Isha is my dude. Oh. He's been supporting me with the right questions, and he has a question. Yeah. And you know what? I might be able, able, I might be able to answer this question. Let's see if you taught me the well. The question is, uh, any trick to avoid headaches? Well, first of all, let me see the symptoms. Are you eating enough water? Drinking enough water. Yeah. Are you drinking enough water? And then you take over. <laughs> maybe that was the problem. You need to drink at least two liters of water a day. Yeah. Fresh air, uh, you know, oxygen. So go outside or open some windows. That's also great for headaches. Uh, drink enough water. Our body consists of more than 70% of water. If we dehydrate, we get headaches. Uh, but sometimes it's also um, a toxicity, either um, heavy metals or something that is uh, overgrowing in the gut. Because you you know that every little bug in our gut creates you know toxins it, it has its own system it eats from whatever we eat and then it, it poops literally out toxins in the gut and our body <coughs> is smart it says okay we don't leave this here we put that straight to the liver but how do you transport toxins from the gut to the liver via the bloodstream and then you can get headaches as well you see how she breaks it down I, I was it. just thinking we should do an episode uh, completely on gut health because there's so mm -hmm. much, you know, things that people take for granted or think normal, uh, like a blo being bloated or um, feeling tired after a meal. All right. those things are not normal and they, they are signs. They're signs something is off and you can, with the right, you know, tips and tricks, you can fix your gut and you can fix your energy and you can fix your headaches. Um, for women, I also uh, have to say that the headaches could be hormonal, but then you know that it's always in a certain week of your um, your cycle. menstrual cycle. Right. Yeah, but if it's like every day or if it's you know so random, you cannot pinpoint. Then it might be something else. Yeah, Isn't is that enough nice. for uh, for your friend? Yeah, for I Richard? think it's good. I think we covered it up. Um, okay, well we're gonna do just one, 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 one more. Yep. Okay, because uh, I'm gonna keep going, and you know, I had to do, I have to do the French vlog, and then I gotta go work out, you know, and all that. You have enough time for? Yeah, yeah, one yeah, more? I have time. Okay, I'm, maybe I'm free on Sundays. Okay, so give them something that you gave me that really changed, helped me. Like it, it when I when you gave me that advice, it, it kind of took me, it, it opened my eyes and yeah. made me feel like you know what, I really have to focus on this half a little better. Well, I gave you a lot of tips during the years, of course. Yeah, <laughs> We've true. been working quite some time together, but um, you were, in the beginning, super, you crave a lot of sugar. You know, you were actually a sugar addict, if I might say. Well, you know, being a French man, you know, it, it, you got to understand. Born in Paris, Fabrice, born in Paris, every morning before going to school, croissants, uh, pain chocolat, religieux, you know, éclair, Every morning. And then at four o'clock, when we get out of school, same thing. You get the same. You get double. Maybe you didn't, you didn't eat much at, uh, at noon. But yeah, so the sugar thing, it was a big part of my thing. Hot chocolate with whipped cream. Oh, yeah. And I, and I would feel always weird. I would tell Tessa, like, you know, every time I have my hot chocolate with whipped cream, I'm starting to feel like not good. It's no fun anymore. 
now, but besides it contains loads of sugar and that's feeding the bad bugs and then you get candida overgrowth or mold or other yeast. So that's also pooping out the toxins in your gut and you get health issues from that. It was also for you a major food sensitivity, remember? Yes. yes you were yes. super sensitive to Heavy. dairy products, yeah. uh, wheat and eggs, if I recall right. correctly. I don't eat eggs anymore. Because... So if you have those food sensitivities and you keep on eating those things every day, three, four times, six times a day, wow. man, you don't feel fit. Danger. So you, you might say also um, that you're more fit than ever. 2020? 2020 is crazy. That's why, that's why I can't wait, y'all, to show you the whole package. Because, you know, I talk about, yeah, I'm in the gym, you know. And, you know, I, I see other people on social media that I like, you know, that I respect a whole lot and I see how fit they are. But, uh, you know, if I do show how fit I am, I like to do it in a creative way. Because, you know, I'm, I'm an artist and I like it to be stylish and, and artsy. So... When the music comes out, there'll be a video attached. You can be sure that the next track that comes out will have a video attached to it. And then you'll see you'll see the work. You'll see the stuff. Yeah. Well, because of you, you've been less uh, on the road, hey? less traveling this That's year. True. You have more true. time to focus on your health and, and, you know, your diet and supplements. It's easier, you know, yeah. when you don't travel as yeah. much. You know, Plus just... traveling is, is a major, especially oh, we're gonna, we're gonna keep play. that. We're going yeah. to keep that for the next episode. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's a good one. Because, so, you know, I'm done for the day. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm going to give you drip, 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 you know, because I want you guys to come back for Tess's health tricks. You should tips. do a, a little poll, like when they want to have lo those health tips and tricks, like once a month, once every two months. Or That's a very good idea, weeks, because, so you know, whatever yeah, you, they you want, guys, you know. Because I brought Tessa back because of the fact that you guys were, like, asking. So you let me know, Feu, Feu Richard, because, you know, Feu is the leader there. He has okay. a lot of great questions. Yeah. You know, talk amongst yourself. He's a French dude, or...? Yeah, he speaks both languages. Yeah, okay. he does. Yeah. But because, um, yeah, my office is... <laughs> oh, you see that? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you guys. Uh, because my office is in the gym where you work out. So, That's right. you know, I'm always around. So. Yeah, but listen. Always easy. Uh, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I'm, I'm still here and you guys know what's the, the, the model number of my model. You know exactly what it is, okay? So, you know, I've been traveling through time and I'm feeling better than ever. That should tell you something. When I'm on stage now, woo! I'm, I've always been a healthy dude, but you know, with time and aging, you know, things do change. And if you don't adjust to time and, and pay attention to your temple, because your temple is everything, y'all. And if you don't pay attention and take it really seriously, you won't be able to work the way you used to. As a matter of fact, I'm more efficient more than ever. Creatively, focus everything. You know, so yeah. take it seriously. Health yeah. is wealth. Because the, the opposite actually occurred with a lot of people. They had a corona kilos. Uh, people didn't go to the gym anymore. They end up, because they felt bad, they end up eating more sugar. And they know it's bad for their health, but it's very too difficult to break that cycle. And when you say today... Um, you're inspired and you're like, okay, I'm going to change this all. I'm going to cut down the sugar. I'm going to turn off my phone. I'm going to create a, a, a great sleep environment. I'm going to put it on the table when I don't need it. And um, in a month, I think most people like to need to come back in a month. <laughs> You'll hear more uh, tips and tricks. And if you have any questions yourself, of course, you can always uh, put them um, in the chat or in the super chat. That's um, right. Or just email them. You guys are aware of Super Chat. Super Chat is a new feature. Hook a brother up, you know what I'm saying? Support the channel. That's it. All right. Anyway, Tessa, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be here. It was good. Yeah. You know, listen. If you listen and play this back, she gave you a lot of great information. It's just the tip of the iceberg, huh? It more means, to come. More to come, y'all. So uh, thank you very much. I'm going to. After this, what am I going to talk about? I ain't got no idea, but we'll see. Oh, I'm going to go back to the... You keep going? Yeah, I'm going to keep going. Okay, well, then uh, I'm going to take a break then. Okay. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everybody. All right, y'all. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take the floor.
Kids floor. Okay. So, wasn't it fun, guys? Okay, I'm gonna side. Yeah. This is good, y'all. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna go and, and check um check what we got. You know, because I know that while that's who was talking. People came in, finally, sorry, I came in early today because I thought, you know what, for once, my schedule was a little different, I could get here, I could get to the vlog earlier, so I said, let me show up earlier because I know that some of you guys, you know, in the States, South America, it's a little late for you, so I made an effort to come early so I could catch you, but of course, you were taken by surprise and I should possibly in the future try to adjust that because um, mm -hmm. it makes a difference for some of you. Sometimes it's possible, sometimes it's not. So from now on, I will try to let you know the day before, you know, like this you can arrange because I want more people to show up live. And for example, when I have a guest, like Tessa from the stay in your ref coach, you can come in and ask, and ask some questions. Okay? Um, that was super cool. Like I said, um, health is wealth. And during this, this time period that we've been going through and still going through, you know, we've discovered how unhealthy we can become when we are emotionally in balance. Body, mind, and soul are connected, you know, and I tell you, when you're healthy, mentally, physically, because they're all both connected, it, it takes, you know, the bad health takes a toll on your drive, on your, on, on whatever you visualize, your visions, your, 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 your will to want to overcome whatever you're going through, any obstacles that are in front of you, and that is the key to the kingdom, to your kingdom. In order, in order for you to sit on your throne, proud, happy, you got to take it seriously. I did. And I'm not telling you anything that you've never heard before. The only way, the, the only difference is that I do it my way. That's it. I do it my way, and my way is unique to how I see things and view things, and you know it's my own sauce, you know, in a few in a few words, my own sauce, my own recipe, and I'm just sharing with you. I'm not preaching to you. It's not. It's not that at all. I just want you to to feel what it made me feel to adjust, make those changes and see where it took me. And you will see in a very near future where, uh, where it's going to take me. I can't wait. <laughs> Unfortunately, like I said, we've been stopped in our tracks, which, which sucks, really. But that's just the way it is, you know? Like Bruce Lee said, be like water, or just go with the flow. Oh, as a matter of fact, while I'm doing this, I got to give you some of that. Are you ready? Bow, bow, bow. Oh, yeah. Bow. Oh, I'm going to be make a big one. Bow. That's for y'all. You know, thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. I truly appreciate the fact that you guys are here, you know, and, and, and showing me love and and as long as you guys come here and show me love, I'll be here. You know that. So let me go to the comments, and I'm going to take it from there. And then I'm, I'm not going to stay too long, okay? I'm not going to stay too long. But I got to address some of the people that came today. So let's go. Let's check it out. Okay. Sheila Shorter, Sylvie, Yara, Livia, Phil, my dude. Uh, Miss G, Tammy Fox, 
Miss G, ok, sorry. Um, Vivian Ir, Ir Kefa, Patrick. Sian uh, Z, Sung. I think, I hope I said it right. I mean, I'm going to them right now. Um, Kuba Orpel, okay. Christine Manson, Christine like the car. If some of you were around during the 80s, <laughs> maybe you were born in the 80s, you might not know about Christine the car. Cool movie, go check it out. Um, uh, uh, Magic. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that because it's an X at the end. Magic. Have you already encountered that person? On en parlera une autre fois. Ok? Popito? Hello. Uh, I'm looking, 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 looking. Make of. Ok, 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 ok. Pow, 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 pow! That's right. Um, Miss G. Uh, I'm not the health coach. We're gonna have to bring her back. You know, let me know. You know, let me know. You know, and uh, the more people say, hey, we wanna give her, we're gonna bring her back. Maybe I, I don't bring her back in a month. Maybe I bring her back maybe two weeks from now, okay? If you guys really like, you know, if you, if you guys like what you hear, then I bring her back, you know? I'm not forcing anything on you. Like she said, you know, ask them. So I'm, I'm waiting on you to, to let me know. Okay. Uh, Dolo Dembski. That's right. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I'm looking. Uh, DJ, okay. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I went too far. Hey, DJ Risha. Yes, yes, yes. My pleasure, DJ Risha. Um, for the name Lord Gaelic, okay, Pay Stoney, okay. I from Czech. Hey, I had a blast last weekend in Locket in Czech. It was super cool. We drove an hour and 15 minutes from uh, Prague and ended up in this beautiful place. I took some movies and I posted them here on my channel, guys. It was a beautiful show. People were on fire. They gave us that energy, you know, because I was performing with John Davis. You know, I'm in the room, he experienced John Davis, Fab More Event, Fab More Event, John Davis. And we had a blast. And with that energy, you know, that energy, that energy is so wonderful. And that's the kind of energy, it's a different type of energy that I get here. But it is definitely in, in the same frequency, in the same wavelength. And I love it because you guys are giving me so much strength. During, during my time where I was not feeling as strong as I am right now, you guys were there and you were not as, as um, it was not, there were not many of you, you know, because people didn't know where I was. I was, I was in hiding, you know, I was recovering. I was, I was recovering from, from, from the pain, from, from the struggle of being hurt by words, because you know, words are very powerful. This is why, this is where we're going to go right now. This is freestyling, everybody. Glenn Millie, how you doing? Raha Quinn, how you doing? I'm going to be that short, but to the point. The power of words. The words you use, the words that are coming out of your mouth, of your soul, your spirit, your heart. Very powerful. Be careful what you're using. Be careful of the words you're using when you're talking to yourself, within yourself. Because I know we all talk to ourselves. That's just the way it goes. And sometimes when we don't feel well, we have a tendency to put ourselves down emotionally. That's the wrong way to go. And I know it's an easy thing to say. But try to raise your spirit by going to... Listen to, and my God, YouTube is full of inspirational speakers, but to elevate your spirit, listen to some of the powerful people that are out there, you know, because it's, 
it's amazing like what they can do. You know, there's one guy that I follow and that is awesome. His name is Gary V. Patrick Bed David. Those guys really are spreading nothing but positive energy. Like I said, we do all we all do the same thing. Some of them, some of us are more successful than others, but also we all do our own cooking. And that's very important. You got to do your own cooking, your own cooking. You got to do it your own way, but we're giving. And that's very important. You've got to give. If you can, if you're strong enough to give, give it to the people who don't have the strength that you have. It's about sharing. That's what I'm doing here. That's it. I... I'm here, created this channel because of my music that I, want, that I wanted to share. But at the same time, it was a natural process for me to talk to people and share with you, how did I get here? Where did he come from? Where is he now? Where is he going? And I cannot wait to share with you the entertainment part of my life, the music, the creative part of my life, because this is where this is how you found me it's through music right so the power of words make sure that you elevate your spirit don't take your spirit down okay also when you are in a position of being checked out by people and people feel your vibe because i like to talk about this first you don't feel good then you stand up you move on you're strong enough People start to feel your vibe. People see you. When people enter your, your circle of trust, make sure that you use the proper words when you communicate. Because sometimes your words can show that you're not really solid. You're not in balance. Okay? So if you find yourself in a position like the one I'm describing right now, make sure that it's, one, it's on your good days. We all have good days and bad days. That's it. And you're not acting. It's just sometimes you're weaker than others and sometimes you're stronger. And when you're strong, take advantage of the fact that you're strong at that moment. Take it, you know? And then eventually, because, you know, we all go through this and that. It's very normal, you know? But eventually with time, you will be balanced. And that comes with taking care of that health, eating right, sleeping right, working out well and all that. Anyways, I think that I covered a lot today. I don't know. I think that I covered a lot today. I don't know. I never know what I'm going to talk about. But, you know, I do it. it comes from the heart, though. Ooh. Ah. Gotta drink that water, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You heard the good doctor, your health coach. Just up in the stain. Take that water while you're sitting. Take that water while you're sitting down right now. Even if you're drinking something else, you know. You know, I I I, um, I heard a story that just came to mind, and uh, one of my very good friends that I used to work with, his name was uh, his name is Robert Perry, Robert X Perry. I call him X, X my dude. If you're watching right now. Your eyes must have gone like, bam, what? And I was talking to, 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 to X, and he, he was telling me that um, he, he had met um, the, one of the guys, uh, some of the main guys that were working at Nike's, and they had factories in, in China. And they would go out with, uh, with, with Chinese, uh, Chinese businessmen, and it would be drinking, boom, boom. But after every drink, they would uh, drink like... Uh, they would down uh, some green tea. In the morning, they would meet, and all the Westerners would be like, whoa. And then all the Chinese people would be like, totally fit. And the guy asked, and he said, when you chase with green tea, it'll do the trick. So, you know, another, another tip, another, another trick for ya. So like I said, drink your water. It's important. And, you know, when you drink more water, what happens? Your skin will look better, too. Anyway, this is fab. More than yours, truly. We're approaching 40 minutes. It was a fun one. And uh, I'll be back, y'all. Fuck, you want to 
You want to ask me one question before I leave? Because, you know, Foot is so good. You know, like what he does, you know, like questions are really cool. So I like to finish with Foot. Foot is the man. As a matter of fact, I'm making you now the leader of the community. Bam! Where you at? Where you at? Where you at, man? Hit me with something good. Yeah, no sugar. No sugar, Miss G. No sugar. Rohan Queen. <laughs> I like that. Rohan Queen. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Well, obvious. It would be to be able to, with my touch, with my touch, anybody that would feel down with, with my touch, they would feel instantaneously good. Another superpower that is not hypothetical that I'm working on is my voice. The voice is a superpower, I'm telling y'all. Because there are people that I, that I listen to, and it's amazing how, you know, well, Marley, TV Wonder, James Brown, Marvin Gaye, to name a few, when they sing, there's that thing that comes over you, and I'm after that. That is my mission, to be able to, through my voice, to touch y'all and make you feel and transform your emotional state. So, yeah, power of touch, but what about the power of voice? Whether it's talking, whether it's singing, the power of words as well. Now, I think I mentioned four, four superpowers. To be continued, dot, dot, dot. Where you at, fool? You have something for me? That was very good. That was very good. Thank you for the question. That was a cool one. I think I've been asked this one before. I'm not sure. But, you know, with time, you know, things come to you easily. Sometimes it clicks right there, you know? That was a good one, Rohan. Thank you. Uh, well, I think, uh, okay, Nathan writes, one of my favorite artists. It's difficult. There's so many. There's so many. It's so many. It's, it's hard. It's hard. Um, it's very difficult. But I think I mentioned a few to you, and those are like staples, you know, staples in my Spotify. As a matter of fact, while we're talking about Spotify, um, don't forget to go and listen to Fast Chill 01, Fast Chill 01, Fast Chill 01. As a matter of fact, each 14th of the month, I'm going to be posting Fast Chill. Fast Chill 02 is coming in on the 14th of this month, y'all. This is the beginning of a long journey of Fab Steel. Music that I listen to, that I chill to mostly because it's mid to slow. It's in the mid range, really. So, you know, get accustomed, get used to the familiar, y'all. And uh, don't forget to go to my Spotify account, listen to my latest release, you know, because music is what it's all about for me. I'm telling you, all music is what is what it's all about for me, and we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to this new chapter. Super excited, super excited. Anyway, guys, to go, y'all. It's hard to say goodbye. One love, one heart. Let's get together and feel alright. Don't wanna sing too loud. Didn't feel like being like, ah, it depends. It all depends. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Chadwick Boseman. You know, I had no idea that this man was doing so much for human beings. Um, Incredible actor. I've heard some of his speeches. One first time that I heard him speak was um, at uh, Denzel Washington's. Uh, it was. It was. I forgot what exactly it was, but it was regarding uh, Denzel Washington was receiving an 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 award, a lifetime award, and Chadwick Boseman talked, and it was 
amazing. We delivered that. And I saw some other speeches after that. And I was like, man, this dude is fire. This dude is, is super cool. The fact that we lost someone like this, that was so, he was so young, with so much to accomplish, so much to give to the world. And then you have people that are terrible that keep on living, you know, weird. But this short time that he was here, the impact is powerful. And uh, we should definitely look up to him, celebrate him and learn from his ways and possibly, you know, share and, and do the things he did. I mean, he had the platform, but this guy was working in silence. He had cancer and he was going to cancer, to cancer wards, speaking with kids. No one knew, only his family. Big, that's a big man. That's a big man to me. So, hey man, RIP Chadwick Boseman, you rock. The Black Panther, the king of Wakanda. Wakanda forever, y'all. Anyway. We gotta go now. And oh yeah. Pow, 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 pow. That's it, y'all. Listen, this guy was positive energy, just talking about him and, and and hearing his speeches in my head, like man, it's powerful stuff. Positive energy is love. On this, I'm out. Peace out. Light, peace, one love, freedom, health. That's what it's all about.